We are Brit and Mike. We love to travel, but faced with 2020's travel restrictions, we're taking the opportunity to explore the sites a little closer to home in Northern California with our dog, Leah. This week, we're taking the Tony Loke Trail to Stevens Creek Reservoir. Already having second thoughts. Ticks, mountain lions, <laughs> rattlesnakes, and poison oak. Oh, well. Hey, sweet potato. Guess what day it is? Come here. Okay, before we go hiking, you have to get your bean balm. We learned on our last hike that Leah has very sensitive paws, so she now requires bean balm. <laughs> and she actually loves it. She loves it too much. <laughs> ah, okay, come on. This 12 minute car ride was just too much. Too exciting. Too much excitement here. Do you want to explain what you're doing? Well, last time we took her out for a hike, she did pretty good, but her little feet just couldn't take it. She ended up getting with a little, some little sores and stuff, and we didn't want to risk hurting her little paws, especially since they're still, they've recovered for the most part, but you know, we're assuming they're a little sensitive still. Maybe the skin isn't super, uh, super tough yet, so we're just taking some precaution. Trying to, if she'll let us. <laughs> Come here. She seems to have resigned to wearing them. I think the excitement is, is like... Distracting. Distracting her from like the fact that she has things on her feet because she usually doesn't let us do, do this, so... All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Well, Leah has already managed to get off two of her little pads. <laughs> It's been about four minutes. <laughs> yeah. Come on. That didn't last long. Okay, so we've made it to the Stevens Creek Trail, right? We're in Stevens Creek County Park, but we're at the Tony Look Trail. Okay. It looks like it's going to be relatively cool today, which is nice. The terrain doesn't look too bad. Hopefully it's okay for Leah's little paws. Yeah. She's managed to get two socks off already. We haven't even <laughs> really started the hike yet, so we'll see how that goes. So this is a 2.5 mile out and back trail. Um, we're heading down to the Stevens Creek Reservoir. There's elevation gain of 200 feet and uh, it's gonna be a cool 72 degrees. So. Yeah, I'm excited to get started. Yeah. Just got here, already having second thoughts. Ticks, mountain lions. <laughs> Over there, there's a warning against uh, rattlesnakes and what's the other one? Poison oak. Oh well.
camera. We bought the Canon M50, which we shot the beginning of this video on. Uh, we are now using an iPhone because the battery died. I mean, the trailhead is like right there. <laughs> so yeah. we definitely need to pick up a couple extra batteries. It's kind of a bummer because we just put like a new mic on it and we're excited to film the rest of this video with it, take some photos on it. But that will have to wait until next weekend. Our next stop after the hike will be Best Buy to pick up some more batteries. Yeah, we're so. a little disappointed <laughs> in, the, in the battery life that we got here. But yeah, I mean, we, people kind of warned us about this, but we didn't realize it was going to be that bad. Yeah, so lesson learned. <laughs> So we made it to the trail loop at the end. Yeah, we're at the out, the end of the out of the out and back. So we've gone about 1.1 miles. Don't ask how long it took us to get that <laughs> far. Yeah, but this is a man-made reservoir. It's the Stevens Creek Trail Reservoir, I guess. <laughs> um, and it looks to be pretty popular for like kayaking and like stand up paddle boarding and just kind of yeah. hanging out. There's a lot of folks out here having some fun today. Yeah. We're gonna get some water and get Leo hydrated and uh, head back. socks have been a hit <laughs> <laughs> yeah the we've gotten they just walked by said nice christmas socks i think two or three other people yep, yep. i like your socks so <laughs> you're the star of the trail today how do you feel she's always the star of the show <laughs> she's like thanks i hate them <laughs> So Leah's at that point where she's getting tired and starting to really lollygag. So the walk back could take even longer. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to mention on the subject of her awesome Christmas socks that I believe my mom actually got her those Christmas socks. So mom, if you're watching, your present is a big success. So this trail has elevation gain of 200 feet. And I think this is all 200 feet of it. <laughs> so yeah. we came up on our way in. So now we're heading down. It's flat at the bottom <laughs> and flat at the top. So. And I have 17 pounds of dog pulling me down this hill. <laughs> 18 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so another reason that we decided to go on this hike today was because of the wildfires here in California. There simply aren't a lot of options and our thoughts go out to the folks that are being displaced or evacuated and all the firefighters that are out there trying to control the blazes. But in our area, I think most of the surrounding mountains, you know, here and in the East Bay and, you know, so on are all being affected by the wildfires. So this trail was one of the more open ones for us. Yeah, the common advice is to stay off the roads to let emergency personnel and evacuees get through. So we just came like a few minutes down 280 from our town and found a trail that wasn't closed due to the fires. So ended up being pretty nice though. It's pretty well shaded. This is definitely the shadiest hike that we've done so this far thus far. So yeah. still a good one, really close by. It's definitely nice. I like that it's so close to home. Leah, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, sweetie. There you go. Come here. Oh. All right, so we made it to the end of the hike. We're at 2.24 miles. I think the other 1.6 is just going back to the car because you have to walk a across a road to get to the car. What do you think, sweetie? <laughs> Did you have fun? I think she enjoyed herself, that's for sure. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, where do you want to go from here? Breakfast. Okay. Lunch, brunch, anything. <laughs> something Let's find involving, somewhere to eat. Something involving food and maybe drinks. All right, so we'll pick you up when we get there. I got the chicken and waffles and it looks incredible. I can't wait to eat this. Okay, so I ordered the avocado toast. It's amazing. It's really, really good. But I've been fighting with my um, knife to cut. The bread is like very stiff on the bottom. It's like a... <laughs> Some kind of flatbread. It's almost like a burnt pizza crust. It's like really tough. Yeah. So I had to get a steak knife. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, am I not supposed to be cutting this? Like, am I supposed to be like picking it up and eating it? But there's no way that you could pick this up and put it in your mouth. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm having to work for my avocado toast, but it's really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. It looks kind of messy. When I'm looking at it, I'm sure it doesn't look very good. <laughs> it's really good. So this is Stein's Beer Garden. We've been coming here for as long as we've lived in the area. And it's one of our favorite brunch, lunch, dinner, it's, whatever time of day spots. Yeah, it's pretty much the best. They have our favorite beer. And How do you pronounce it? Food, uh, Vian Stefan. Vian Stefan. Just realized that I left my watch on this whole time and curious how many calories I burned from trying to cut my toast with a steak knife. <laughs> Are you gonna finish your waters so and go home? <laughs> So 
we just finished up a brunch. Time to go back to the house and have a nap, I think. Yeah, I need a nap after that. <laughs> too good. All right, see you next week. Let's get away from this family. All right, we just finished up at brunch. I almost went, dropped my phone like face down <laughs> into my toes. <laughs>